Four secrets to getting approved for individual and family health insurance. Getting approved for health insurance is a problem for a lot of people in this country. Insurance companies uh, lack of enthusiasm, we'll say, for covering moderate to severe health conditions uh, can leave people sometimes without an option to obtain health insurance. If you are stuck in a job that doesn't offer health insurance or happen to be unemployed, chances are you've seen your fair share of insurance applications. During that process, you've become very familiar with what an insurance application looks like and how they go about evaluating those applications. This process can be time consuming, it can be tedious, and it can just be downright not a whole lot of fun. But the biggest thing standing between you and obtaining health insurance is medical underwriting or that review process that they go through when looking at your insurance application. So you're thinking to yourself, well, it can't be that hard. What can I do? There's gotta be something to increase my chances to getting this health insurance. Well, don't worry, I've got four secrets for you. We're gonna go through them right now. First, don't apply when something's going on. Now, I'm not talking about you have a social engagement, a birthday party, or you have to take your kids to a soccer game. That's, I'm, not, I'm not talking about that, that's, that's not it, don't, no. What I mean is, is don't apply when you have something that is, you're currently being treated for. If you are under your doctor's care for a specific condition, say you injured your knee, or you have a minor surgery that you're recovering from, maybe an appendectomy, anytime that you have not been released from treatment for a previous condition that you are being treated for, you're going to have a hard time getting health insurance. Only give them what they ask for. Now this means being very specific with your application. They're going to ask you a series of questions. You're going to want to be as specific as possible with these questions. Don't just put something on there that you think you might have or that you think somebody told you that you might have. Of course, if you're taking medication for high blood pressure as prescribed by your doctor, you're gonna to wanna to include that. However, if your wrists tend to hurt every time that you work on the computer for an extended period of time, and your coworker suggests that, oh, hey, maybe you have carpal tunnel. Well, that's probably something that should be better left off the application. Only include things that you have been officially diagnosed for on your insurance application. I'm not telling you to lie by any stretch of the imagination. You're going to give them the whole truth and nothing but the truth and nothing beyond that. Next, you're gonna to wanna to plan ahead. <laughs> this may seem very obvious and something that could be included on any secrets list, but people rarely take the time to actually go ahead and do it. The reason you're going to want to plan ahead is because just like that first secret, when you don't apply when something is going on with your medical conditions, you're going to want to make sure that you plan ahead and make sure that you don't have something upcoming that's going to prevent you from getting that insurance when you need it. Let's say that you're looking to quit your job and start your own business. So it's not a good time to venture off and start getting every little thing looked at and get your doctor prescribing more tests and procedures and treatments. Not a good idea, probably not in your best interest. What's going to happen is, is that that insurance company is going to see you know, five, $6,000 worth of tests based upon that, those procedures that you're having them look into. And they're going to say to themselves, well, what's the result? If this is still lingering, we're not going to sign up for something if he's you know, uh, you know, two weeks away from a major surgery. Not something they're going to want to do. The longer, the better. Insurance companies have a specific waiting period for certain conditions before they will even consider your application moving forward. Some of the more serious conditions like cancer and heart disease are generally going to have a 10 year waiting period. Other minor conditions are going to be three to five years. The further removed you are from being treated for that condition without any reoccurrence, the better off you will be. Now, of course, in 2014, this is all going out the window. So basically this is only going to apply for the next 15 months as all medical conditions, all health insurance policies are going to be guaranteed regardless of your medical history. So that's it, those are four secrets that are going to help you get approved for health insurance next time you look to apply. So was your health insurance declined because you didn't know one of these secrets? If so, which one? Of course, there is a blog post linked in the description of this video for you to read up a little bit more on jingolainsurance.com. Of course, I am Joey Jingola with Jingola Insurance Agency. Take it easy, everyone.